Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chris and this is my channel Barn on 11970. Thank you for taking the time to listen to um, my little situation here and uh, give it some time because this will make sense and it's going to show, like I've always said, if you look at the um, any kind of negative situation that approaches you and find something positive from it, then it proves that things happen for a reason. Uh, you're going to have to forgive my voice. I'm, I'm getting, I believe, laryngitis. I've had the problem with this for the past couple of days. So if I squeak, you know, it'd be nice to say I was going through puberty, but considering I'm 46, I doubt that's the case. So I'm down in my basement. This is the water heater slash oil burner that's going to have to be um, replaced. Um, I want to give a little background about this to show you how all things happen for a reason. And even though it's going to cost over $4,000 to get this replaced, I'm going to show you why it's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, for the past two years, the motor for this um, oil burner was not working right. Like I would click the button every now and then if it was off for too long even if you turn up the thermostat up in the house it wouldn't always go on so I'd have to come down here press the start button and it would start up well in the past month or so it started getting to the point where I'd have to press it a couple of times for it to start and then about two weeks ago it got to the point where when you pressed it it would show a buzz. Well, it wouldn't show a buzz, but you'd hear a buzz, and it would take several times, and I'd even have to hit this thing once or twice for it to start. So we got to the point where we're like, you know what, we got to replace it. We got to call our oil burner guy and see what's going on with it. So it ends up, we call the person, comes down, and he gives us a new motor, and it works fine. But then he found something that I wasn't aware of. I want to show this to you. Now you see where the light is going right now? Right where this light is, right there. See that crack? That's not a good sign. See, so all in there, it's completely cracked to the point where I don't know if you could see it, but the flames are being exposed. Now that's not the only thing. Now I never knew that was there. Let's see if you could pick it up. Right here, you see that white right along there? That's the metal burning because the insulation inside is cracked and this side of the oil burner is starting to bulge out, which means that it will end up of, like breaking open, which could basically set the house on fire because if you look up, I mean, this is a 70-year-old house. There's nothing but real wood above. So, yes, $4,000 to get this replaced, and that's with him taking this one apart, putting a, a brand new one in, new setup, installation, everything, because this is down in my basement, so he's got to carry it up. Not only this up the flight of stairs, but bring the new system down, and these weigh 500 pounds. Um, so, yes, uh, $4,000 is going to hurt. But I didn't know about this crack here. I definitely did not know about that bulge. Now, when he mentioned that to me, I asked him, well, how long will this last? In other words, how long can we live with this? And he said, you probably got about, with that bulge on the side, you probably have four months or less until it goes. Now, I want you to think about that. You know, I have to sell a few of my comics, which unfortunately, you know, I, I hope more people will help me with this. I, I mean, I, I'm not asking for any money or anything. The only thing I even ask is if you can't, if you're not able to or don't want to purchase a comic, if you could help share it. Out of 33,000 subscribers, two people shared it. So those two, thank you. You know, I, I do so much for this community. I, I, I hope somebody will do that, if, if even just sharing it, because... Um, I've said this so much when it comes to investments, they'll be there for you in your time of need. So, yes, it's going to hurt to sell things I've had since I was a child, not all of them since I was a child, but some that, you know, I, I love to collect and they were for my future. 
But what would have happened if, for example, I was DJing late at night, come home to find out that my house is burned to the ground, my cats are dead, and my wife is dead, and every possession I own is gone? I, that could have been a scenario if for the fact of this inconvenience of this $160 motor that we replaced didn't bring us to let us know about this situation right here. So for me, as bad as the situation is, because 4000 is going to hurt us, it's, it's all the money I have, even after borrowing some money from my mother, it's, it's worth it to what it could have been. I mean, I could have been, we could have all been sleeping in the house and end up dead. And those of you who have been following me for a while know my father, back in 2012, died in a fire. So maybe this was my father's way of having an inconvenient thing break down and an inconvenient thing that had to be replaced <coughs> to end up saving our lives, saving our house, saving our future. So that's why, like, I mean, it, those of you who know, last week I almost died from being sick because of bad food that I ate, and I learned my lesson from that. So this has been a, a pretty horrible week, if you think of it. I could easily be depressed and want to put a gun to my head and say, woe is me, and wonder where the money's going to come from, having to sell things that I love. And if you haven't seen the video, it's posted on my channel I hope you check it out and if you want to make an offer for any of the comics please do because it's gonna help but I look at it as a good thing that this inconvenience is gonna save our lives so we still have a little bit of money before we can end up getting it we don't have the full amount yet so we're, we're counting on anybody that's interested in those books like I said I'm not asking for donations or anything like that it's I'm trying to sell something so this way if somebody wanted to help, they can get something back in return. <coughs> Excuse me. But if this doesn't show you that not all tragedies and, and bad situations are just there to piss you off or depress you or make you think, oh, woe is me, sometimes if you search your feelings and search the reasons, there are other situations of why things happen. So to me, this is proof that all things happen for a reason. If not for this part of this machine breaking down and having to be replaced, I would have never known about this or that other part there that I've shown. So should I be upset that this happened? If I only focus on it on that sense, then yeah. Because now I have to spend four thousand dollars to get this replaced after I just spent one hundred and sixty to get this replaced. But this now getting a new system, an updated system, a safer system, is going to keep us from having our house burned down and maybe have everything in our in our lives, including our lives, taken away from us. So my channel is never going to be the best in the world. It's not going to be the most flashiest. It's not going to give you all the top information and inside information. What it's going to do is maybe help people think in a different way. That when something bad happens, look further down the line. See about it. Look into why something happened. And you will see that good things can come out of bad situations. So here I was in the same week. I almost literally die from a food, either allergy or poison or whatever. I replace a motor to find out that I have to spend $4,000 to get this entire system replaced. And I'm losing my voice. That's not including all the things that I've had to deal with with my life, with the harassment and the bullying and the people that attack me on both my channels and talk stuff about me and everything. I'd, I'd have a legitimate reason to be upset or to give up. But because of the fact, like I said the other week, when you're almost dying, it changed my perspective. So the old me would have probably been pissed off about this. Would have probably been like, oh, all angry and depressed. But now I'm like, you know what? Thank God I was shown this so I could fix it before it was too late. 
So to me, that proves that all things happen for a reason, and I hope my channel, and even this video, can help you to see that not all bad things are just bad for the evil sake of winning. Sometimes negativity is the best way to get something positive done. So then it happened for a reason. So hopefully you will be able to hear this because I know the oil burn is a little loud and my voice is not exactly screaming, so I apologize. But if you appreciate this stuff, let's hear it in the comments section. Share this with other people. Watch it with people that may be down or may be having situations in their life that are not going the way they want to. Even if it's yourself, appreciate the things that you have because one day they could be gone and it could have been because we decided to just not pay attention to the warning signs or never knew they were there. So I'm glad I got inconvenienced because the inconvenience from what the result of leaving this alone and not knowing about it would have been would have been far greater than what I have to deal with now. And I hope you can see that. So thank you very much for listening. Um, again, check out my other video about the comics that I'm selling. If you're interested in any, please let me know. The money will help to go towards repairing this. I'm not asking for anybody to donate anything. I want to make sure if you're spending any money, you're getting something in return. And if, if you can at least share the video of me the, with the comics selling, I'd really appreciate it. It will help. To the two people that did do it, I thank you very much for taking your time to do that. And I hope you all have a great day. So hopefully soon I'll have a video. Probably it's going to take another two or three weeks or so because we're waiting to get the rest of the money because he's not going to do it unless we have the money in full. But I'll do a video with an update with the new system. So I just wanted to show you guys and also to shut up the naysayers who think I'm just some liar that makes up shit. Unlike them, I can always prove what I talk about. So thanks for watching. Have a great night. And don't forget to have your trolls spayed and neutered. And you know what? Have pity and feel sorry for them because they're going through their lives through nothing but anger and hatred. And be thanking God or whoever you believe in that you're not them. Have a great day.